<sighs> Where to start? Wow, it's been a while since I've made a video. A lot of things have changed, but then of course there's really nothing going on here anyway, just like usual. I've been asked to uh, tell five random things about myself quite a while ago, but I've been busy, so finally I got around to it. I got some time, and it's late at night, so I'm going to be playing the drums, driving the neighbors crazy, like always, but I've got some people coming over tomorrow, and oh my goodness, I just don't have any time to make these videos anymore. But I guess I'll start with the beard. I was with the girl in a castle in the uh, tallest room of the tallest tower, highest room of the tallest tower. And it was just after we got through playing some drums for some people. And she was showing me some rhythms and stuff. And I was, well, okay, so I was white and I don't have any rhythm. You know, white men can't jump, they also can't play the drums. But I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. And uh, so that was lots of fun. We dressed like pirates and run around like crazy. And when I got back, it was sometimes later, when I had been messing with some instruments, that I got an eye infection, so I have the glasses don't look like myself, but a lot of people say that's a good thing. And the lady at the, at the eye doctor, she said they look like Orlando Bloom. And well, so I told her that I, instead of dressing like um, Jack Sparrow, I'm going to dress like, uh, what's the name, Matt, Will, Will Turner. So she gave me the little um, pirate flying spaghetti monster thing uh, with pirates. So anyway, they, they were quite religious there. I decided not to tell them that, you know, that has to do with my religion. She might not have given it to me. But anyway, the five random facts. What am I going to do? Oh, yes, and I decided to keep the beard after we came back from running around like medieval heathens. And uh, I decided to keep up the drums, too. Which one should I start with? Let's go with this guy right here. Helium tape, fun for parties, and I decided why not make a drum out of it. I saw some patterns online, and it was actually for a bigger tank, but I decided I could probably do it. Unfortunately, it's very hard to tune, and uh, because the notes are so close together, they interfere with each other, and, um, well, at least I have another tank to try it out on, because I think I can correct some of my mistakes. Of course, I got the little note. There it is, your uh, uh, hang drum, I believe the name of the guy. That did it. Uh, yeah, this, the A here is very noisy. Seriously, it did sound good. It did sound good once in a while. After I got through doing with that, I decided I would make a better instrument. I was looking all over for these before making this video. Uh, it's basically PVC pipes uh, arranged the way that the notes should have been on my other drum. Now, some of the PVC pipes fell off, so it might not be in tune if I didn't put it together right. I don't know any songs to play on it, but it's, at least it sounds nice. I painted it blue because it sort of looks like something the Blue Man Group might have played. Uh, if anybody's watching this video and you know some songs to play on this, please let me know because I need to know some rhythms to practice with. So after those drums, um, homemade things that didn't turn out so good, I decided I would go ahead and get the thing that me and the girl was playing, a Doombeck, I believe it's called. This one I got for 30 bucks. It's got a hieroglyphics, um, Egyptian symbology on it. Pretty nice. Uh, it's uh, not the highest quality because I had to fall down some things. And uh, but then again, 30 bucks and it looks nice. So I, at least I can put it out and it'll be something good to look at. I haven't played this thing in a while, so we'll see what I can do with it. I do have some music for this, I just haven't practiced it in a while. 
So then I decided to buy some more drums, and my mother got this for me. It was used. Um, the family got a Wii, so they didn't want this one anymore. The, uh, of course, the rock band drum set. Lots of fun to play. Oh, yes, i got to show you my, my modification. Yes, those are mouse pads cut and glued into it. Don't worry, I can take them off. It's not ruined, but uh, the thing is way too loud to, to play it the way it originally comes. Lots of fun. I've got 27 songs on hard on the game. So, not too bad. I was pretty bad when I was first playing it. One, two, three, four. Four drums, one more to go. Well, this one's not a drum. It's a little musical instrument. And I made this for Halloween. And I never finished it because it didn't work quite as well as I thought it would. Let's see if I can find the volume. Ah, yes. It is, of course, the theremin. And um, it's digital, it's not analog, so you got some weird, some weird noises it makes. I don't think anybody could play any kind of music from this thing. Uh, sound bar is way too sensitive. And uh, this is definitely not in tune. It auto calibrates when I first turn it on, but the computer program inside of it has been having some trouble. So if I try to reboot it, it might not boot back up. Oh, and I have one more instrument before I go. The ocarina. Uh, a friend of mine bought one of these and I decided oh, that'd be pretty fun to play. Uh, I can't play any tunes on this thing. Uh, anyway, before it gets too late, it's time for me to practice uh, the drums, there are some tough songs coming up. Uh, some good ones too, but I gotta get to practicing. The tough, toughest thing, of course, is getting my foot to disconnect from my hands so that they can play different rhythms. So I'll see you later.